Hi Glenn here from GMT Point and Specialist Limited. Right, I'll just show you this uh, building on now. Um, it's a 150 year old this one. Uh, the lime's seen better days. So it's done now, it needs replacing. So with this building it's been boxed with sand and cement. Um, over here this is really hard sand and cement. So that's all got to come out. And then you've got another different type of sand and cement. Normally it rots behind it. But this building was built with lime, so you don't put any type of cement in. Uh, the brickies on this site uh, has built that and this, but they've used a 1-2-9 mix. So it's a lot weaker than your uh, four to one. Um, with this one, it'll scrape out easy. You can chip it as well. So it's nice and soft. And that's what you want on a building of this age. You want it nice and soft and you don't want it like that. Like the last job I was on was that hard. It actually bent my pick. It shouldn't be as bent as what that is. So, if you've got an old property and it's built with lime, only use lime. Don't use cement and lime, just use a pure lime. Whether it's your putty hot limes or your NHLs. If you're using an NHL, use an NHL 2 or a 3.5. Don't use a 5 unless it's underground. But if you're using an NHL, use a good quality NHL. Uh, I like Lafarge, I like St Astia, I like Ottobin. Um, so, don't use hard sand and cement because you'll just destroy the bricks. Uh, if you need any uh, anything further, just give me a message and I'll try and help. Thank you.